Hi everyone, today we'll present you our cool gun. A cool gun is a device that uses a strong magnetic field to shoot nails. This experiment is very dangerous because of high voltages, so we cannot explain exactly how it works. First, we'll test our cool gun on different objects, then we'll make some measurements and calculations. The cool gun's capacitor bank can accumulate 152 joules of energy. Capacitor can reach 400 volts for a total capacity of 2000 microfarads. This capacitor is a charge with a fairly automatic system, complex but with a 55 watt power. Have a look at the size of the projectile compared with a tended nail, it's big and heavy. Let's begin to use the cold gun. We are going to perforate that poor soda can. We press the charge button, then it's fully automated. The capacitors are charged at 400 volt in 14 seconds. The nail is placed and we push the fire button. Perforate was the right word. Now let's blow this Nutella jar. We wait for the capacitors to charge, we place the F of the nail in first so then it will hit the glass. Charge finished. Ready? Another one. The nail managed to pass through the jar without breaking it apart. Let's guess what will happen with a jar full of liquid. Fire. Test on a fixed can. Test on a 230 volt turn on light bulb, with a system that prevents a short circuit indeed. We turn it on and fire. Unbelievable, the smoke ring was so unexpected and amazing. Test on an old and already damaged PSP. Test on a piece of tiles. Fire. Test on a CD. The nail seems not to have even slowed down by breaking the CD. Let's try with several CDs at the same time. Fire. The last but not the least. Now, thanks to a technique we found that doesn't need any peculiar materials, we're gonna try to find the nail speed. The first sensor is a combination of LED and a solar cell. When the nail passes between them, we can observe a difference in the light intensity. The second sensor is a simple switch that sends an electric pulse when pressed. With a computer on Audacity software, we'll then find the time that passed between the two signals. Let's study the sensor's reaction. The first creates a little impulsion, and the second a large impulsion more visible. Now we are gonna shoot and analyze those impulsions. We can see first a period where nothing happens. Here the nail passes in front of the first sensor. There's another period where nothing happens. Then the nail hit the last sensor. We can see that the nail took 0.09 seconds to fly 1 meter. We can now easily calculate 1 divided by 0.09, which makes 11.1 meter per second. By calculating the nail volume and by multiplying it by the iron's density, we find a mass of 47 grams. Then, with a kinetic energy relation, 1 half mv square, we can determine that the nail has an energy of 3 joules, which is tremendous. The coil efficiency is around 2%. It's not a lot, but it will be difficult to do better.